Hello friend, myself Sanjeev Devedi and on behalf of Vidyalankar Institute of Technology, I welcome you all in this conceptual video session for the subject Advanced Algorithm. In this particular video, we will be talking about how to find time complexity for given recurrence relation. Now the first point is, what is recurrence relation? Now specifically, you must have studied in divide and conquer what happened was we used to divide a large problem into sub problem of smaller size. Now what, what, what we used to do is we used to recursively divide it. So when it comes to recurrence, it is an equation or inequality that describes a function in terms of its value on smaller input. Now what do you mean by that? Let's see for it case merge sort. Now for merge sort, if the array size is 1, the time complexity we represent in terms of big O of n, big O of 1. Now, if the value is greater than 1, means we have to divide. Even if my array size is 2, let's say 0, 1, 5 and 3, suppose, then we have, it, we have to divide it into two array of size 1 each, so 0, 1, correct? So, it means that if my array size is more than 1, we are supposed to divide it. So, every time, so to, to find the time complexity of an array of size n, we are dividing it into approximately two array of size n by 2 each. So, time required, time required to sort, to sort array of size n using merge sort will be two times the time required to sort the array of size n by 2 using merge sort and this is the time required to combine them. Okay. So, this is dividing and this is conquering the time, the overhead, correct? So, this kind of relation, what we call it as recurrence relation. Now, when, when it comes to finding time complexity for recurrence relation, we have three methods. The first one here we are going to discuss is substitution method. Now, what happens in substitution method? The first step goes, you need to guess solution. Uh oh now what is this so in substitution method what we are supposed to find is we are supposed to first guess a solution for it now hum kaise solution guess karenge we will make use of master method if possible if possible huh? if possible for a given recurrence relation we can make use of master method now the first step is we will the first step is we will guess a solution and second step is we will use mathematical induction okay, to to ensure that this solution works now this method is quite powerful but but we can only apply this if we can make a good guess for a given uh, problem so sabse pehla point hai ki aapko ek aapko ek approximate solution guess karna hai aur baad mein us solution us guess ko aapko prove karna hai theek hai Aapko is baat ka dhyan rakhna hai ki jab aap substitution method use kar rahe hai, you are going to establish either the upper or lower bound for a given recurrence relation. So I hope you are going to, uh, I hope you are okay with this. So substitution method, ye pehla method hai recurrence relation solve karne ke liye. Recurrence relation hum kam use karte khas kar divide conquer mein. Jab hum apne bade se problem ko chote sub problem mein divide karenge. Now yahan pe humne kya kiya in this example merge sort mein, humne do same size problem mein divide kiya hai. हालांकि आप दो अलग-अलग टाइप साइज में प्रॉब्लम में भी डिवाइड कर सकते हो लाइक t of n minus 1 t of n minus 2 लेकिन 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 इसमें क्या है फिर यहां ये यह अलग तरीका हो जाएगा ठीक है बट ये भी एक रिकरेंस रिलेशन है ठीक है जहां बड़े से प्रॉब्लम को छोटे-छोटे सब प्रॉब्लम में डिवाइड कर रहे हैं करेक्ट नाउ दिस इज सब्स्टिट्यूशन मेथड लेट अस सी एन एग्जांपल फॉर इट सो द गिवन t of n is 2 t n by 2 plus n now, we have to guess for this. So, we are using the master method here. You have studied the master method. We will discuss it again. We will use the master method here. I have guessed a good guess. That we assume that the time complexity will be big of n log n. Now, what will happen? 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 Now, what means t of n will be less than or equal to some c time n log n for some value of constant which is greater than 0. Now, if this is true for n, then n by 2 will be true. Hoga. Means 
we can we can use this to write this so this must be true for n by 2 also so can we say t of n by 2 will be less than equal to some c time n by 2 so n is replaced by n by 2 here so here n so here we got n by 2 here n so here we got n by 2 here log n we got log n by 2 तो हमने ये पहला हमारा स्टेप वन क्या था हमने स्टेप वन के लिए क्या किया एक अच्छा गेस किया सो so हमने कहा मास्टर मेथड यूज करके हम गेस कर लेंगे कि इस बिग ऑफ एन लॉग एन फिर अगर ये बिग ऑफ एन लॉग एन है तो एज पर द डेफिनेशन हम कह सकते हैं कि टी ऑफ एन विल बी लेस देन इक्वल टू एन टाइम लॉग एन फॉर सम वैल्यू ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट अगर ये एन के लिए ट्रू है तो एन बाय टू के लिए ट्रू होगा तो टी ऑफ एन बाय टू लेस देन इक्वल टू समी टाइम एन बाय टू लॉग एन बाय टू अब हमें ये प्रूव करना है हमें ये ध्यान रखना है हम इसको वन कंसीडर करते हैं ठीक है ना अब देखिए नेक्स्ट तो हमने ये कहा है तो ठीक है दिस इज व्हाट वी हैव लेस देन इक्वल टू टू सी नाउ वी विल सब्सटीट्यूट इट व्हाट वाज दिस तो हमने क्या लिखा था टी ऑफ एन इज टू टी एन बाय टू प्लस एन तो हमने कहा था दिस विल बी लेस देन इक्वल टू टू टी एन बाय टू प्लस एन करेक्ट है ना तो ये हमने कहा था बट टी एन बाय टू क्या है टी एन बाय टू इज लेस देन इक्वल टू ये टू एज इट इज है टी एन बाय टू विल बी टू इन टू ठीक है हमने कहा सी एन बाय टू लॉग एन बाय टू प्लस एन ये हमने जो यूज किया फ्रॉम वन प्लीज देखिए जरा हमने कहा टी ऑफ एन बाय टू लेस देन इक्वल टू सी एन बाय टू लॉग एन बाय टू ये हमने यहां सब्सटीट्यूट किया नाउ टू विल टू विल गेट कट so what we'll have cn log n by 2 plus n log n by 2 will be log n minus log 2 so we have cn log n minus cn log 2 plus n correct so the, so if it is n log 2 we can write n because greater so what we'll have can we write it as i mean if you if you consider this whole term the order of growth important contributor will be cn log n so can we say t of n is less than equal to c n log n now if we can say t of n is less than equal to c n log n oh oh this is the definition for big o so can we say t of n is big o of n log n and this is what we proved yes yes i know i know aap soch rahe honge sir yahi to assume kiya yahi proof kiya correct hai hamara methodology kya kehta hai ki pehle hum ek assumption lenge और ये अजम्पन हम क्या बोलेंगे भाई ये अगर ट्रू है एन के लिए तो हम एन बाई क्योंकि यहां हमारा सब प्रॉब्लम में डिवाइड हो रहा है एन बाई टू तो हम कंसिडर करेंगे कि भाई एन बाई टू के लिए ट्रू होगा अगर एन बाई टू के लिए ट्रू होगा तो हम सब्सटीट्यूट करेंगे हम सॉल्व करेंगे और लास्ट में हमने क्या कर दिया अगर एन बाय के लिए ट्रू है तो एन ट्रू प्रूव कर दिया सो दिस इज सब्सटीट्यूशन मेथड वंस अगेन स्टेप नंबर वन मेक अ गुड गेस स्टेप नंबर टू यूज मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन टू प्रूव दैट गेस सो दिस विल बी ट्रू फॉर ऑल वैल्यू is that clear fine the next is recursion tree method now recursion tree method now uh, a question may arise if there is substitution method why should we use recursion tree method if you if you understand in last example it was 2t n by 2 plus n so here if you can understand my sub problem was of same size correct it was two sub problem of size n by 2 but now if if if, if i have something like n minus 1 Plus t n minus two. If my problem t of n is subdivided into two sub problem n minus one and n minus two, now the substitution method will be difficult to implement. So in such cases, we can make use of recursion tree. Now let us first take an example of it. Now consider, consider this relation. So here we have t n will be t n by three plus t two n by three. So if you can understand, the sub problems are of different size. ठीक है n by three and two n by three and this is the overhead correct and this is the overhead so can we say it n so here what we have the n is divided n is the n is my problem size and this is the cost ठीक है ना तो n is my problem size this is the cost the cost will be c n because यहाँ हमको constant time लग रहा है ठीक है ना हर सब प्रॉब्लम के लिए सो एन इन नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज डिवाइडेड इनटू एन बाय थ्री टू एन बाय थ्री सो फॉर सी द फॉर एन द कॉस्ट वाज सी सो फॉर एन बाय थ्री इट वाज सी एन बाय थ्री एन सी टू एन बाय थ्री नो इफ यू ऐड इट व्हाट यू विल गेट इज सी एन सो इट मींस दैट एट लेवल जीरो माय कॉस्ट इज सी एन एट नेक्स्ट लेवल इट गेट डिवाइडेड इनटू टू प्रॉब्लम्स सो हियर एट लेवल 1 what we have cn by 3 and 2 c2n by 3 but my total cost is same cn 
ठीक है ना इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड ईच टाइम सी जस्ट इमेजिन द लेफ्ट मोस्ट साइड ईच टाइम इट इज गेटिंग डिवाइडेड इन टू ईच टाइम इट इज गेटिंग डिवाइडेड बाय एन बाय थ्री का पावर के ठीक है ना ठीक है तो इट इज एन तो कैन वी से इट इज एन बाय थ्री रेस टू वन एन बाय थ्री रेस टू टू एन सो ऑन सो हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ लेवल नंबर ऑफ लेवल विल बी लॉग ऑफ एन टू द बेस थ्री बाय टू सो दीज मेनी लेवल्स सो प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वी विल हैव दीज मेनी लेवल्स नो कॉस्ट ऑफ ईच लेवल इज सी एन सो प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड कॉस्ट ऑफ ईच लेवल इज सी एन multiplied by total number of level now what is total number of level log n to the base 3 by 2 now why 3 by 2 because every time it is getting divided by 3 it is getting divided by 3 means multiplied by 1 by 3 theek hai so this is how 3 raised to power so please try to understand this is number of level this is cost of each level so total cost is for n level cost of each level is log n sorry for log n level i'm very sorry cost of each level is n so the total cost is n log n so what happened in recursion tree we go on dividing it so how many number of levels that depends on now suppose suppose if it is t n minus 1 plus t n minus 2 now n minus 2 means it is reduced by 2 so how many levels on this right hand side it will be n by 2 levels how many level because every time it is getting reduced by 1 so how many levels n level ideally it is n minus 1 but let's say ideal n minus 1 1 is constant theek hai so we can say n level so here every time it is getting divided by 1 by 3 theek hai so 1 by 3 theek hai and here we will have and here if you see it is getting divided uh, it is if you, if you see if you understand this this will be 3 by 2 so every time it is getting divided by 3 by 2 and here every time it is getting divided by 1 by 3 now uh, 3 3 is greater than 3 by 2 so length of this side should be less than this side so this side will be major contributor so now since every time it is getting divided by 3 by 2 number of level will be log n to the base 3 by 2 so please try to understand so in this in, the, in this way using recursion tree method so what ideally we are supposed to understand is we should find number of level so and we should find cost of each level so it is basically so it is basically number of levels of the tree recursion tree into cost of each level this is about recursion tree method so these are the two uh, method that we have seen for solving recurrence relation for next method we will see next video thank you very much